Hey, what is going on guys? We are over here back with another value video and in this video, I'll be talking to you guys and sharing how you guys can turn cold leads into hot leads. So this is a question that a lot of my students have always been asking me. Hey, Bill, how do I you know, turn these cold leads that I've gotten and make them to the hot buying lead and how you know how can I do it the most efficient way possible? This is something that uh, no, it can come from many forms. One form is from ads. The leads they collect from ads are usually cold leads because you do not know who they are. They may be targeted, so they may be cold to warm, but I won't deviate towards the cold form because you do not know them and uh, they do not know who you are. If you, get, if you got your leads from ads, so they are probably cold. Number two, it could be something where you just someone just gave it to you for some unknown reason. So wait, you know what? Scrap that. So whoever that you know have who, who have no inkling of an idea of who you are will not know uh, what you have been doing. Excuse me. They are co leads, right? They do. They have no intention. They do not know who you are. You are new to them. How are you going to turn basically a stranger online? into a hot lead that will buy whatever that you want. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys two, two powerful strategies that I have been employing and deploying, excuse me, and it has gotten me a good amount of success. Where right now I'm again a top 25% vendor, top 25% affiliate. This whole process is actually very powerful and how sometimes on a regular basis that I'm able to make over a thousand plus dollars organically, meaning no ads, no leads, no emails, nothing, using this simple model. Okay, so let's enough rambling, let's get started. So, the first is a very uh, good old classic way using what I call, I like to call the power, all right, of free. So the power of free is something that is can allows you to start a conversation. So this power of free usually applies where you got an amount of leads, amount of uh, well, this X amount of leads from ads or from somewhere that is essentially where people were going to your subscriber list without knowing you. Basically, ads unless there's some other ways that I do not know of. I apologize, but I will assume it's ads. <coughs> the power of free allows you guys to. Have a better, uh, have an opener, have, have that bridge for you to connect with them. That and this whole process will allow you to connect your co lead into, let's use a different ink, it will slowly bring you to warm, right? You warm them up because the moment that they open your email and check out what you have to say, they will turn to a warm lead because they are curious about what you have to say, what you have to offer. The rest is what you have offered to them before they turn to a hot lead in the subsequent follow-ups, in subsequent emails, or subsequent um, yeah, well, follow-ups, excuse me. <laughs> so power free. So what can you give for free? Even if you are a stone cold newbie, if you can go, you got no experience, there's a few things they can give. Number one, you can give any bonuses that you have. So any free tutorial, free training. That you may have used, that you may have came across. It can be an ebook, it can be a video training, it can be a flat out cheap course that you have received from someone else before. It could be your own custom bonus that you have given out to people. Hey, you can even give out my own video like this, right? Like, because I'm sharing a, a, a skill with you, uh, and some, some information with you guys. You can actually share out my video to your leads to warm them up. Hey, uh, I discovered my mentor Bill has this incredible training that I want to share with you guys that I think you guys can benefit from. So check this video out. Something along those lines, all right? But hey, do not download my video and give it to them. I would appreciate if you just basically use the URL, the YouTube URL above, copy, paste it and send it to them. That's fine because I want to build my channel as well. I want them to know who am I. So it's a win-win situation. So I'm going to give you guys permission to use my video URL, my free trainings, to send it over to your list to warm them up. That is the power of free, okay? Now, just a little pro tip, let's say when it comes to uh, warming them up via email. 
if you want to send them something for free, you obviously want something back in return, right? Because otherwise, it's going to be a loose, loose. It's a lose win situation for you where they win and you lose. Personally, I do not like to lose, so that I want to have something in return. So, what I would suggest, if say you want to warm them up with a power with the power of free, it's pretty simple. When you send them say, hey, uh, hey, first name, I have a uh, my mentor Bill have this free video training. Check this out. Blah blah blah. Attach the link. Attach the folder. Now, what you will want to do. At the next line or next paragraph is if you enjoy the training, I hope you guys can white whitelist my email so that you guys can keep updated on what I have to share in the near future. That's all. A very simple call to action, a very simple action that is practically harmless. Right? Because you say, hey, I've, all I ask is for you guys to open my emails for the next few ones. Because you know I will always be constantly sharing good tips, free tutorials, etc. etc. And your leads, well, this may not well apply for all of them, but for the most of them, they'll be like, oh, this particular uh, sender has sent me some free tutorial. I have benefited from it, and who knows what he or she may send to me in the future that I can benefit from for free. So I want to take note and be more aware of when this vendor or when this sender, excuse me, send me a new email. So insert that call to action at the next few paragraphs. To let them know, hey, whitelist my email, uh, do take note of my future emails because you'll be sending more free tips and tricks and tutorials to them, or maybe some amazing offer that they cannot resist. Okay, so that is something, or should I say, that is what I would call the power of free. Number two, to convert cold lead to hot leads, well, in between there's this warm part, you can call that, it is, no, I'm just staying green, <laughs> it is. Very simple, and it's just pull-ups. Pull so this particular strategy, it is not rock, it's not rocket science. It's not new, but unbeknownst to uh, a lot of new marketers online, new entrepreneurs, they always do not follow up. So uh, a very real case study uh, sharing I made is when someone were to talk to you. Or you, you would talk to or someone would approach you by a messenger, for example, and they're like, ah, oh, you know, hey, I have this amazing offer, blah blah blah. Would you be interested? You say no, and the conversation just ends there. But what you do not know, or what most newcomers, new marketers, excuse me, are not aware of is, they say no for that day, for that particular period. That does not mean he or she will answer no in the future. So how long would you like to follow up? Usually it depends on for the conversation. Some of them may be interested. I have leads that told me, hey Bill, give me two to three weeks time, I will get back to you. So that is where sometimes I will wait. Again, it depends on the conversation between your lead and yourself. Again, because remember at the start of the video, I mentioned cold leads are the ones that do not know who you are. They are just a stranger to you. So you want to convert them to a friend or a hot lead, you have to have that connection, that bridge between you and them. So for the follow-up sequence, for example, as I was saying, that there was this lead that told me, hey Bill, give me three weeks, I will get back to you. So what I will do is I will go to my calendar and I will mark the date that he told me to, but that he said that he will come back to me. Because I do not want him to go off to someone and somebody else and give that person that sale, that commission, right? So I'll mark that date down for example three weeks. So what I will do is I'll do a follow-up. So I will not just wait for the three weeks. Because a lot of people said to say they give false promises, they, they are not sincere. So what I will do is I will check up on them. So every one week, three weeks, right? Because the lead told me three weeks, every one week. I will say, hey, how is it going? Uh, how is it going, sir? How is it going, ma'am? You know, how is it like, you know, blah, blah, blah. How, what, you know, do you have any further questions that I can have clarified? Do you need to set up a call with me? You no, know, the list goes on, but let's do a basic follow-up. Nothing aggressive, nothing uh, too harsh, nothing too strong, because they feel like, hey, this guy's desperate. You know, he just wants to talk to me for sale. 
You do not want that, right? You want to establish a very sincere connection between you and your lead so that they will trust you enough to purchase whatever offer that you have for them, right? So that's one of the ways that you can do a follow-up. And as I mentioned earlier, <coughs> when they say no today, that does not mean they will say no in the future. So timing is pretty important when it comes to follow-up and this also applies to emails. So there is something that this thing called we call an autoresponder where we set like a few days, three to five, maybe 30 days email sequence where it will just keep shooting a particular email on a certain time, on a certain day. So the one day one email, day two email, day three email. These are basically follow-ups. And what I came to realize is the first time when you talk to somebody or you send an email, the response rate may be not the best. It may not be the most satisfying because they essentially they're just getting their toes wet. They're just trying to find out what is it about. They're like, oh, they're curious. They'll open your, your stuff. They'll read whatever you have to say. They may not bite it there and then. But when you send a follow-up email, or a follow-up message, they'll be like, oh, he or she is pretty, uh, so pretty, what's the one finding, uh, opti optimistic about this particular offer, about this opportunity, I should really check it out. Now this often happens, and it may not seem apparent to you guys right now, but trust me when I say this, the follow-up is the killer, and a lot of marketers would agree, the follow-up, is the way to actually secure that sale they have been looking for. So this is a particular strategy that I've been teaching my students who is banking a regular $200 to $300 commissions per sale without ads, without any email list, nothing. All he do is use this basically what I'm sharing with you guys right now. Cold leads to warm leads, to warm leads to hot leads using this two strategy either with the power of free, but incentivizing the leads with something to get something back in return, of course, and then follow up. And that's how he's banking $200 sales, $300 sales, and when he make a sale, it is 100% profit. And that is how powerful he can do with the power of follow up, all right? So, <coughs> so basically, this are the two ways that you guys can turn a cold lead into a hot lead the easiest way possible and really the best of all, the best part in this whole thing is it's free. This is just what we call like a networking, it's just basically networking. Just take it as you know, you want to make that connection with a client or imagine it this way, why big corporations Big companies are successful because they have a connection with their audience. Now it is right now it's just your job, your role to build that connection with the audience that will turn them this way. Okay? That is all. And the two most recommended strategies that's been working for me and my students is these two. The power of free and the follow-ups. That's all. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today on how to turn cold list into hot list by Bill Ang, which is myself today. And I hope you guys got a tremendous value out of this uh, tutorial, this full, yeah, that's quite a tutorial. <laughs> so if you guys do, I will be sure to like, share, subscribe if you guys haven't already. Feel free to comment and let me know what you guys want to know more in the future and what kind of videos that I should be sharing and what kind of uh, topic that you guys want to know more about that I can elaborate further on. And I'll be more than happy to you know engage with you guys and yeah, I'll create more of these videos for you guys to get more value for free, okay? But if you guys want to know something more in-depth, more advanced, feel comfortable reaching out to me on my social handle on Facebook. It's in the description box. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's in the description box below. You guys can contact me on Facebook and I can speak to you guys there directly and we can see how if there's any program that I can refer to you guys that I feel and I believe that I'm personally involved in that's going to help you out. Personally, right? So that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, thank you. Take care. Stay safe and I'll speak to you guys in my next one. Cheers.